Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. When the subject of hard drives came up the other day, it prompted one of our community members, Cygnus, to send an email. It says, I run games imaged on my hard drive to save the time and hassle of swapping disks. It's actually a pretty smart move. Will virtually mounting an image of a CD significantly change the lifespan of that drive? Oh, kind of depends. Now, if you're offloading an image of a CD, or essentially taking the information on the CD and putting it in a space on your hard drive, you are going to save time. So instead of the game having to go to the CD every time it has to load something new, it just goes to that part of your hard drive, and hard drive data access is going to be mm, more often than not faster than accessing the same data if it was on a CD. It's just kind of the nature of the beast. The issue does come into play, though, uh, if the data that you're copying to the drive, if it's being moved around a lot, and I don't think that's necessarily going to be the case in terms of games uh, in, in, in some degree. The, uh, the thing you got to watch out for more than anything with most drives, uh, they're either going to fail at the very beginning or at the very end of their lifespan. And the average lifespan, well, it could range depending on brand, depending on uh, the run date. Um, you know, I've had hard drives last for five years, uh, and uh, then I started to get worried. <laughs> you know, five years is right around the time where technology has leapt forward enough that you might think about upgrading anyway. And if you can avert disaster with a hard disk failure that long, you're you're doing good. Um, when you play you're messing with a lot of files and a lot of movement on the drive, you're causing more activity. And the more activity a drive experiences, uh, the quicker it is going to uh, be closer to a failure time. So the, the hope is uh, that, you know, just by, if you play this game like constantly, like 24 hours a day, and you're constantly doing things on the hard drive, um, never giving it a chance to rest, it may damage the drive. I wouldn't say any, any uh, worse than it would be if you're writing regular old files to the drive. I wouldn't be too worried about it. But it is something to, to understand about the way hard drive works. Um, there are moving parts. And uh, with anything that's moving parts, it's mechanical. And mechanical stuff can break. As a matter of fact, I happen to have a few WAV files still on my hard drive. I don't know where or how I got these things. But these are sounds of hard drives failing. So if you're, you know, copying files to your hard drive and you think it's everything's going okay, if you start hearing these sounds coming from your computer, it's time to uh <clears throat> seek professional help. This one they call the ray gun. That's an actual sound of a hard drive. That's an actual sound. Can you believe it? Sounds like an Very shrill. Here's another one. You may have heard this one. Hopefully not. You hear that? The clicking? The clicking? That's not a good thing. Then there's the cycle click. I've actually had cycle clicks before. Can you guys hear that? It's very subtle. It's like, we uh, I've had those before. That was my first hard drive failure. And that's what it sounded like. Here's a ball bearings problem. So if your computer makes any of those sounds, that's likely your hard drive. And at that point, just hopefully you've got your data backed up somewhere, whether it's on the internet or just something local. Uh, you may want to have it looked at by a professional, whether it's going to be a hard drive recovery service if you've already crashed, or if it's been, uh, or if it's, maybe you purchased it from a local shop or you want to call in a, a local geek to have him or her come in and take a look at it. Uh, hard drives, you got to be careful uh, when you're messing with them. Um, but, you know, just to answer and put Cygnus's mind at rest, uh, so long as that's not necessarily the only thing he's doing with his hard drive. Um, I don't think it's going to add more wear and tear on it than uh, any anything else might, uh, moving data on and off a hard drive. Um, what do you guys think? Uh, I, I think the cost-benefit analysis, if I were to do it, I, I'd say copy the game. Wicket! Sorry, my dogs. They're they're trying to imitate the sounds they heard on the computer. They're, they're, they're working on their... Um, they're going to be on the America's Greatest Talent, and they're working on their hard drive uh, uh, death impressions. They're doing pretty good, actually. Pixie's doing the ball bearings.
He's, of course, doing the whir, click, whir, if you couldn't tell. Uh, anyway, so uh, what do you guys think about copying games to the hard drive? I think it's safe. If you guys have something to say to the contrary, uh, by all means, throw it in there. Um, and, of course, if you're curious as to the health of your hard drive, you might consider picking up Spinrite, which is a program that's been around for ages uh, from Steve Gibson, uh, just one of the world's most excellent software developers, has been pretty much from the dawn of man. Uh, uh, okay, I don't mean to make him sound old, but he's good. Uh, Spin writes a product that can help you analyze uh, problem uh, problems on your hard drive, hard disk. Uh, and of course, you know, if you have any other hard disk utilities and tools that you want to recommend, you know, before these guys get way out of control, uh, you can swing by the chat room. We're always here talking about all sorts of things. And as these guys are telling you already, we're at live.perillo. <laughs>